Okay. Let's see what we have here. This is a JP 80mm fan. This was uh, installing my uh, Freewind T33. Was uh, working okay uh, for uh, maybe 12 flights and then suddenly made a very bad noise in flight and then luckily I was able to land. And then they discovered that uh, there's some rusting noise here. So probably the magnets or the ball bearings are there, but probably most probably the magnets. Okay, we well, let's understand how uh, to disassemble this uh, unit. Don't try to move anything from here. Let me see if I. I really left some marks here because I was trying to take out the spinner. No, this is this uh, this has a trick. First, you need to add some uh, WD-40 around here, and then you need to hit with something soft around. Mm? And then you need to understand that this one is left thread, right? So if you turn to the right, you are losing this one, the same with the second part, right? The only part of this normal thread is this one. So this one goes out. See? Okay, now we go to the uh, propeller. You see how many balancing holes they have. The same with the motor. Lots of balancing holes here. Hmm? Okay, I uh, discussed this one with Shane from uh, uh, JP. He's sending me uh, another motor. And uh, he's going to tell me how to balance it dynamically. Hopefully it's going to be good. If not, okay, I will be wasting uh, some money that I pay for the shipping and so on. Right? How to disassemble this one? Uh, there is a X screw here, you know, if you can see it inside. But first of all, I'm going to uh, make a mark to the propeller, the propeller and the motor. Right? I, I, uh, if I assemble this one again, I will uh, use the same position. I'm going to mark one propeller and I'm going to mark the motor in the back, right? The idea is that we need to align it. We assemble this one because my plan is to see what can I, what I can do with the magnet, the loose magnet. If this has a cover goal, okay, throw it away and wait for the replacement motor. If not, I will see. At the end, it's already uh, lost somehow. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try uh, two point. This is a uh, 2.5 mm X screw. Yep, it's this one. As expected, is uh, locked tight in place. Ah, it's very hard. So I have good chances of uh, breaking my this one. So I will uh, put some. Uh, CA solvent, uh, one of these debonders. Let's see if at least it can work on this one. He has another one on the other side. Let it soak it in and uh, I'll come back with you, okay? Okay, to add to that method, I will use a, a normal. Uh, L-shaped uh, Allen key and since I don't want to put the heat directly on the propeller I will heat up the Allen key expecting that the heat will travel through the uh, screw right? this one is a very cheap one coming with some of the many kits I had so there is no damage if I lose it just I need to remember not to touch it with my bare hands. 
supposedly uh, the conductivity of the steel will be good enough to uh, travel until the uh, hex nut. Make sure to have a silicone pad to receive this one because I'm, I'm not going to use this one. I'm not going to use this one directly. See? No. Okay, here we go. Okay. It worked. This must be hot as well. Keep it outside. Let's see the other side. Nope. Let's use the, the Allen key. Make sure to position inside it. Touch it because I'm sure it's very hot. Grab the Allen key. The Allen key will heat up the, the hex screw. The screw, set screw, whatever it is. And that will loose up, loosen up the Loctite. Remember that the lock tie usually the blue type is really difficult to remove. In this case, uh, only through heat, but I cannot use direct heat because I'm going to deform the blades somehow and make things worse. Look at this, a really beautiful piece of CNC machining, really nice, beautiful, very beautiful. Hmm. Okay, I want to remember what is this mark. Now, we just need to take out the, the motor, this one seems to be bigger. Okay, one. So, here's the motor. Now we need to pull the motor carefully because the wires are inside this one. Okay, here we go. Actually, the design is quite nice because you have just this slot. So the connectors are in a very nice position. I hope the connectors go through this one because you know that we will have to, yeah, unfortunately we will have to remove the connectors. They are not going through. Or maybe it's just the, 
swing tuning ya, bisa swing tuning pasti lagu ini ketika habis swing tuning let me try brute force no, first remove but then remove the swing tuning okay Later we can replace the string to the new issue. Okay, here we go. Okay. Now, they can go through. Okay. This one has more solder than necessary. Here we have the motor out. Hmm? Still very hard. Yeah, this is a magnet, definitely. Okay, what we have here? Um, we have the, to remove this set screw and this set screw. That we have like a collar here. So I will remove the collar first. Maybe I just need to remove this one. Okay, that is easy. Okay, okay no, still no budging. No. Let's try this part. Maybe it's bigger or what? It's bigger. in this case and now take, let's take a look what happened inside change to something better it looks fine with some small parts there some small pieces of I don't know what oh yeah 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 definitely okay let me show you right. you see these are the, the balls inside the, the, from one of the ball bearings you see the ball bearing exploded and all the small uh, uh, balls went inside the, the motor. That's why we heard the noise. So it wasn't it wasn't the, the magnet. The magnet is really nice, but is the uh, the problem is the ball bearing. Ball bearing destroyed as I expected. Suspected at the beginning, and then I thought maybe because of the hard way it was turning, I thought it was magnet. No, but it's a definitely ball bearing failure. Which one? Huh? Uh, yeah, I think it's the golden the, that is at the bottom, or is it the one at the top? Yeah, yeah, it must be the one that sits here. You see, this is the track for the balls, and the, the other part is on top. So this is a ball bearing failure. Okay, uh, that is good. I hope uh, this uh, video will uh, help Shane to do a better uh, quality control because JP is uh, known for uh, 
very expensive and uh, high quality EDFs. And this one, unfortunately, unfortunately, I received the the bad one. Right? Sometimes it happens. In my case happens quite often. I because I test so many motors, I test so many EDFs. I, say, I test uh, ESCs, and of course, the more you test, the more uh, failures you may find. Okay, uh, this is it. I will uh, um, wait for the replacement motor and we are going to assemble again the idea. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Take care. Okay, this is what I managed to recover from inside the, the motor mm, from the shaft. This is a, looks like a dual track uh, ball bearing pieces of the retainers some of the balls this shaft is intact I still need to clean up the uh, this is the rotor yeah. I think I see a couple of balls inside but yeah uh, this uh, ball bearing is very strange I don't understand uh, what kind of ball bearing is this one. If you have any idea, please let me know in the comments. Thank you very much.